The Paris Europlace International Financial Forum is an important event where players of the Paris Financial Center can meet and discuss with investors and international partners. The event also provides the environment for public debate between political leaders and regulators. In a way, it's the window provided by the Paris Financial Center to France and the rest of the world. The forum is a well-recognized event on the French economic and financial skyline. Over 1,300 participants last year, 17% of whom came from overseas. Four main themes will be tackled. Firstly, as uh, previously mentioned, the European Capital Markets Union project which I hope will be a driver for growth, innovation and employment. The second topic is to continue the momentum initiated by a Paris Europlace Climate Finance Day on May 22 this year. We have shown that the financial industry was, like corporates, a committed and vital participant in the struggle against climate change. In the perspective of the COP21 at the end of the year, we are going to continue along the same team. On one side, the importance of the commitments that the financial sector is making to the subject, for example, reducing the carbon footprint of its investment portfolios. And on the other side, the boom in the green bonds market. The third team is Africa. Last year, during the financial forum, we hit a high point with the noteworthy session on the acceleration of African growth. We believe we will convert the try this year by launching the financial services cluster of the Africa France Foundation. Lastly, we continue to promote the initiatives undertaken by the Paris Financial Center in the internationalization of the Chinese currency, the renminbi, and further develop the cooperation with the Chinese financial centers. The afternoon of uh, July the 8th will be dedicated to a specific session on the means available to reinforcing Paris as a continental European hub for the renminbi. <music> the European Capital Market Union project to be a real European goal for the next five years. But it must also be a leverage for our strategy by 2020 via Comité Place de Paris 2020. Certain priorities will structure Paris Europlace action. Developing the corporate financing model, in particular of SMEs and mid-market companies, while access to financial markets is developing alongside bank credit. This implies, obviously, the development of long-term savings, stimulating innovation and digital evolution. I am delighted by the growing enthusiasm for French fintech which are an undeniable trump card for the Paris Financial Center. But also drawing politicians and regulators' attention to the threats which could sanction progress. Let's be clear, the capital market union linked to Juncker's plan for investment and the ECB's policy will only boost growth and employment if we don't hinder economic and financial actors. I am referring to the project of a financial transaction tax limited to 11 member states, as well as the banking structural reform. To sum up, the players of the financial center, corporate and financial institutions, are ready to take full responsibility in the face of the challenge for growth innovation and employment. Do, do.